Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm incredibly excited to talk about the huge advancements that have been made within and around WinLater, an application I talked about on this channel about six months ago now. A brief recap here for those who've missed it. WinLater allows you to run Windows PC games on Android-based devices, which in the context of this channel, means the standalone VR headsets, like the Quest 3 and the Pika 4 Ultra that I have here. Since then, I've been excitedly given my updates to make ludicrous experiments within WinLater across the various VR Discord groups, using all manner of WinLater forks to accomplish crazy different tasks and for different game compatibility. Right when I believed I found the best solution for ease of use and game compatibility, I learned that developer Lou Boss has also chosen this fork for a new project, which quickly snowballed into something very, very special you will not want to miss. In an effort to keep this video short, I'll put a few of the key changes on the screen now. These are just a few of the major stepping stones I've personally observed over the last six months, that has ultimately now led to the possibility for game developers or modders to bring full, true, sixed off stereoscopic VR to existing and new PC games that can be run completely standalone in VR without a PC. No Android porting is required. This is all thanks to an amazing breakthrough in the new, completely reworked and rebooted WinLater XR application, available right now for the MetaQuest and Pico headsets. Further to WinLater XR's newfound performance and compatibility, the developers Lubos and Bigelode have successfully managed to push XR headset values, such as the FAV for the camera parameters, IPD for stereoscopic vision, along with the head and controller position information through to any Windows application running within WinLater XR letting it correctly render a full stereoscopic 3D, 6 off tracked VR experience as if you were actually using PC VR. The result is a brand new API that developers can implement into their existing or new PC games, as seen here demonstrated with the Unity sample project Bigelode has created. This new approach, while still being in the early stages, has already shown massive potential, with the hope being to later integrate the API into existing projects like UU VR. Looking to the future where standalone compute increases, eventually this method could even support something like UEVR. This means game developers using this new API do not need to target specific PC VR or standalone Android VR builds of their game, but instead could simply consider what VR interactions may look and feel like in their existing, otherwise traditional, PC games, such as factoring in a player's freedom to move their head and hands within 6 degrees of freedom. This also presents exciting opportunities for PC games with existing VR mods, which could someday be repackaged to be fully contained in their release to standalone headsets, using WinLater XR as the back end, all pre-configured and ready to go. While a compute is certainly still a limiting factor right now, especially true for high resolution stereoscopic vision in VR, this breakthrough lays the foundation for developers to start integrating the API into their games or VR mods. As shown by the huge progress in the last six months, WinLater, Proton, and FEX advancements are certainly not slowing down. The performance increases that have happened for the same hardware in this time is truly incredible. Add in a collective group of passionate VR developers aiming to push devices to the limit, and here we are. A huge thanks goes to all involved in the WinLater project. It has been one hell of an experience for me over the last six months, and it only continues to get better. Massive thanks once again to Lubos, for creating and reviving WinLater XR and this new incredible API, bringing all these new advancements and more to VR. Thanks to Toby85 for porting WinLater XR to the Pico headsets, twice. You've saved me more time in testing than you ever know. And last but certainly not least, Bigelode, for their truly invaluable contributions to WinLater XR testing and their subsequent breakthrough. Congratulations on being the world's first to implement this new API. Please go give these developers some love, and be sure to check out the WinLater XR announcement and follow up videos on Lubos's YouTube channel. All links can be found in the video description. I'll be doing a deep dive setup guide into WinLater XR in a separate follow up video. For now, I thank you all very much for watching. Cheers. Okay, if this crashes when I walk forward, I give up. Oh, it didn't crash. <laughs> it's time to go home. Welcome to Los Angeles. Oh, that's amazing. I think the emulation's Stay broken. <laughs> Stop! Get down on your knees. 
Oh god. I'm sorry, Valve. I can't really take part in your survey right now. <laughs>